The Egyptian Ministry of Petroleum continues to export gas to Israel to the dismay of intellectuals and activists who have decided to take the government to court. Members of the campaign say Egypt is now producing at full capacity to meet local consumption and exports agreements. So if it wants to sell Israel more gas, there will be shortage inside the country. And to make up for the deficit, other costlier sources of energy have to be utilized. We are contracted, contracted to export 18 trillion cubic feet. Uh, in addition to the last Israeli uh, agreement, and in addition to Bulgaria and Hungary. So uh, this is something unbelievable. We have no resources. The court for urgent cases in Cairo overturned a ruling made by the administrative court to ban the export of Egyptian natural gas to Israel in July. But those opposed to the export of gas to Israel have filed their own petition against the court ruling, hoping the verdict will be soon. Members of the campaign believe that Egypt is selling gas to Israel at a price a lot lower than the international price. A memorandum of understanding was signed in 2005 binding East Mediterranean gas to supply 1.7 billion cubic meters of gas a year to the Israeli company Dorad Energy over a period of 15 years for $1.25 per million BTU. A new deal to export gas to Israel was signed in July to update the price. They never revealed any details about any uh, of these uh, deals. And it's not uh, justified and could not be understood uh, this is the, the, the fortune of the people, and to, 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 to sell it, uh, you have to tell the people what have you done with it. The government argues that Egypt is required to sell Israel natural gas under the 1979 peace treaty between the two countries, and that there is no internationally agreed price mechanism. Exporting gas to Israel will cause economic loss for Egypt, as we are selling it at rates lower than the international ones. What's even worse is that we are supporting our enemy, which is still occupying Arab land, causing aggression and threatening peace and stability in the region. This will harm us and our future generations. While Egypt is mulling the export of more gas to Israel, it has kept the Rafah crossing with Gaza closed most of the time for over two years and has banned the export of most items including cooking gas and other fuels to the impoverished strip. The outrage of the Egyptian people over selling Egyptian gas to Israel continues, with many wondering whether this deal with Israel is in fact in Egypt's best interest. The silence of the Egyptian government on the deal and its refusal to reveal the terms of the contract have sparked further controversy. Heba Fahmi, Press TV, Cairo.